I'm Karen Shade Lanier, and this is Cherokee Artist Showcase. Today, we have the pleasure of talking with Dorothy Sullivan, a Cherokee national treasure who received her designation for painting only last year, and many people think that it was probably long overdue. Dorothy, we're so glad to have you with us today. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much. And you have a show going on now at the Celine Courthouse Museum in Rose, Oklahoma. Dorothy's show is titled Dorothy Sullivan, Art is in Its Meaning. And it is a mix of artwork from throughout her career, originals, uh, prints, some available for sale. And Dorothy, how do you feel about your show going on right now? Well, I feel honored to be uh, able to do that. It's been uh, about 30 years of, of artwork and for the Cherokee Nation and history, culture, all that. And I just have loved every minute. And you said it's been uh, 30 years of uh, artwork that focuses on your Cherokee heritage, but yes. you've been doing artwork for much longer than that. Can you tell us a little bit about your beginnings as an artist? Well, I always was drawing when I was a child and just, I was better at that than talking, as you can probably tell. <laughs> but um, I just have always loved drawing and uh, didn't have any real uh, art education until I went to college. And so uh, I've enjoyed all that. And I love history, um, especially Western history. And my father uh, was born in uh, his mother's Cherokee allotment land near Stillwell. And uh, he was always so special to me and it was always so proud of being Cherokee. And it was very important to him. And then, uh, Almost 30 years ago, uh, I went to visit the museum there, Tahlequah, and I had been to Tahlequah before, and I taught art at Tahlequah High School for a couple of years. And uh, then I decided, okay, guys, I'm going to try to do what you guys were trying to say I could. And so... I decided that I wanted to focus only on Cherokee history, Cherokee culture, all the things that I could learn about from so many people as well as researching. Dorothy, I understand that you were born in Seminole and uh, that you didn't uh, always live within the Cherokee Nation, but you had that tie because of your father and how much he wanted to make sure that you understood where you came from and your family and your heritage. Mm -hmm. So uh, how, how was it whenever you did research for uh, some of your really well-known paintings, uh, such as the this, this series that you did for the National Park Service? Um, mm -hmm. She speaks for her tribe. How did you go about uh, doing the research to get those images exactly as you saw them? Well, I used a lot of, of things to help me with the research. I uh, worked with the uh, Cherokee people that are know all about everything I seem to be. And at the museums, uh, the full blood people that I became acquainted with and just loved to pieces. And uh, I tried very hard to be, to know what I was trying to, to uh, show with my artwork. And a lot of my paintings uh, that I did were uh, something that I was feeling very strongly um, and usually would see them, see the paintings, uh, and try to express what the story was or what what the uh, 
painting is about and uh, the purpose of a lot of them is just trying to uh, express the Cherokee people, the Cherokee way of things. And to be, all of us to be so proud of that and trying to, uh, I don't know, I guess trying to be a teacher as well as an artist. So you talked about family and, uh, you know, how much, how important it is just to get those details correct in your paintings. Um, you've also included yourself, your own image, uh, images of uh, some of your family members in works. Tell me a little bit about uh, how you came about the work, Gifts of Our Ancestors, 14 Generations. Well, that was uh, a special personal thing for us. My son, James, the oldest son that I have, he saw some of our elders. James saw my father and Indian John, who was a great, great grandfather, and Young Deer, who was full blood Cherokee. And they talked to him in his vision that he saw. And I, I did the painting as James described each person in the painting. James knew what each person would look like. And so he told me, and I did sketches and everything. And he said, uh, he came to my house. He said, Mom, I, I saw this thing, and I, you need to write everything down and then do this painting. And so it was a personal thing. And then after I got the painting done, there were seven men sitting around the fire in the council house. Each one was one of the generations. And then there were seven women standing in the background, including myself and uh, James's daughter, Emily, and then her, she's holding her baby, Morgan. There's a story to it, but and it seems really personal, but when I got to into the work, then I realized that it's not a painting just of our family. It's, it's just a showing what each generation was about and what they uh, what their time in their life was and things that they learned and things that were bad for them as well as good. So uh, that's what it, it was about, our whole thing about our Cherokee people and the different uh, stories of each one. You've uh, taken that to shows before, and of course, that same painting is going to be in uh, this show at the Celine Courthouse. Mm -hmm. um, you're very experienced with showing your artwork. You've taken it on the road to um, uh, various festivals, to other shows, but um, mm -hmm. you also have exhibited in galleries. So um, what would you say is probably your favorite part about uh, an exhibition of your work? Well, I feel really honored each time that I got to show some of my work. And a lot of it was more like historical things about the Cherokee and, and th people that I'd met and everything. But some of them were like things that I saw uh, ahead of time. Uh for the paintings, and I would see it and then do the sketches and then go there from there. And uh, I wasn't trying to show off or anything. It was just sometimes I did that. <laughs> so, uh, and I loved meeting all the people going on the, to the shows. Uh, and I was so honored to be able to go to some of the museums and uh, 
the Eastern Cherokee as well as Western. Um, I got to go to the Smithsonian uh, to show, you know, some of my work, uh, a personal show of my work. And uh, it was all that was just so amazing to me. And I was so honored for that and several other. And then the doing the three paintings for the National Park Service and the Trail of Tears Association, uh, it took me almost three years to paint all that. And for showing at the end of the Trail of Tears. And so I asked the, uh, the people that commissioned it, uh, they didn't, they said, well, they didn't really need the, the original pieces because they were using the paintings as part of the signs that they made along the Trail of Tears and showing the end of the trail when they got to Oklahoma. And uh, it was a special, special places, special time. And so I said, well, you know, she said that if I wanted the, the paintings, then I could keep them. And I said, I want to uh, give them to the Cherokee Museum in Tahlequah. And as long as they want to show it, show the work, and as part of the story of the Trail of Tears, that, you know, that was what I was thrilled that they let me do that. And uh, so it, that was kind of about the end of the trail for me because as I've gotten older, I have not been able to do as much work as I did before. But uh, I was so thrilled and honored that they wanted those paintings in the museum. And so there's some, a few others that I did that were uh, kind of finishing up, I guess you call it. And uh, so now I'm not working very much, but I just thrilled to death to be uh, having this last little show. <laughs> so, well, I would uh, venture to guess that you're probably as collectible as you've ever been, and there will be uh, quite a number of people who will want to see this. And this show will also include one of those paintings that you did for the National Park Service and those. Mm -hmm. Um, interpretive markers that were placed at uh, some of the critical sites that uh, are found along that Trail of Tears uh, route. So uh, we hope everybody will be able to come out to see that soon as well. Um, mm -hmm. I just have one other question. And uh, for all of the people who plan to come out to see your exhibit, what do you hope that they take away from it? What do you hope that uh, they uh, learn or gain from that experience? Well, sometimes um, your artwork can tell a story, um, even even if you're not speaking a language or whatever. It's it's the telling the story with the artwork, and it it I think it's an important thing to do. Um, I was so proud of being able to do some of these things. And uh, a lot of the work when I did only started doing only Cherokee art is when I was uh, first time I was seeing a lot of the paintings ahead of time. And so I thought, well, that's okay. It's not something weird. It's just uh, maybe uh, part of it was the research, but part of it was just really in, in here. So uh, I, I was really blessed to be able to work and do the work and uh, to try to, to help 
other people to understand how wonderful it is to be a Cherokee or people who we are and trying to tell a story with our art. So that's about all I know what to say about it. Well, if you want to see Dorothy's artwork uh, in person, her show, Dorothy Sullivan, Art is in Its Meeting, is on now at the Selene Courthouse Museum in Rose, Oklahoma, through August the 28th. That is a Saturday. And the museums are open Tuesdays through Saturday from 10, p- sorry, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So uh, we were so happy to have you with us today, Dorothy. And uh, best of luck with your art. And uh, we look forward to seeing a lot of visitors at your show. Thank you. Thank you.